We've got Xbox free to play updates, Discord updates, and live updates. Back in January, Microsoft made a pretty big announcement. They said, we are going to make free to play games quote unquote free on Xbox. Now, what they really meant is that you are no longer going to need Xbox Live Gold to play games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, or Warzone, or any of those other free to play titles, typically battle royale style games. So Microsoft announced that and then very, very slowly started rolling it out to like the Omega and like Alpha and just insider programs. Well, today, Microsoft is bringing that feature to everybody they're rolling this out uh, now to everybody so if you have those titles you can go play without the need for xbox live gold and that's just a nice little benefit that microsoft really heard uh, strong feedback from after they tried to raise the price of xbox live gold but that is uh, we'll just say water under the bridge at this point and the net result is that some good things came out now i do wonder about the actual business impact of this i can guarantee microsoft went back and looked at their data and said hey the number of people playing fortnite and then who are also playing any other game that would actually Actually require Xbox Live Gold is probably that overlap is probably pretty substantial. I'm, I'm sure there are absolutely people out there who only play Fortnite, Apex, and Call of Duty and never touch another game and no longer have to pay for gold. But I would bet that the majority of people are overlapping and it's not going to be a really big deal for Microsoft on a bottom line perspective, but they get some good marketing goodwill out of it. And so, bada bing, bada boom, here we are talking about it and uh, mission accomplished, at least for Microsoft. So, uh, that is rolling out now. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, other things that are happening, and this one's a little bit more more just subtle, if you will, and I bring it up only because I talked about it previously about last August. Microsoft is making some subtle brand changes. Now, I want to be kind of clear here. I don't think anything is happening to Xbox Live Gold, but Microsoft is making some branding changes. Like previously, we would see things like Xbox Live Communities. Now it's just Xbox Communities. We also see uh, it was like Xbox Live was kind of the term we talked about for online stuff. Now referring to, generally speaking, Xbox Network. And so just be on the lookout. You might see some of those things changing across the Xbox world, but I don't think it's like it's not an underlying change that they're getting rid of Xbox Live Gold. Um, I think that will continue to stay, but Microsoft is just sort of changing up the branding, and I think it makes sense. Xbox is roughly 20 years old and 19 years at this point, and Xbox Live has was a thing. It, it was just, it, it kind of, in my my personal opinion, outgrew like what it really was because we talked about Xbox Live like gaming charts, but that wasn't really what it was. Xbox Live was the online multiplayer. And now that Xbox is on your PC, on your iPhone, uh, on Android, it just makes sense that it's, hey, let's kind of mature the platform and the branding and, and tighten up the consistency. And that's what Microsoft is doing. Um, so if you see any of those changes, I wouldn't read too much into it. Just be on the lookout if you do see any of those other things. Um, other big news that has happened is Discord. Uh, it is being reported by multiple sources, namely uh, Bloomberg, that Microsoft and Discord could not come to agreement. And it sounds like it was primarily because Discord wanted too much money. Actually, there were a bunch of companies competing for Discord. I think Twitter was in there. And we saw figures, I believe, high as like $15 billion or And Microsoft was coming in at like $12 billion. But the net result is that it looks like Discord has just abandoned those talks and is going to go at it alone with an IPO. This is a really, really interesting move for them because they clearly believe that the value of their service is greater than what these billions of dollars were being offered. So in hindsight, this will either be like a really great decision for them or they're going to miss the mark and, and potentially have left a lot of dollars on the table. We will see. It's hard to understand because Discord clearly believes they have a vision for where their platform is headed and they believe that value is greater than the value of dollars that are being offered today. And it very well could be. Like if they get really heavy into game streaming and can successfully take on Twitch, if they get in well with selling games or building out those communities, it very well could be. That being said, you know, 10 to $15 billion, depending on which, the comp which company is offering it, is a substantial exit uh, for any company on the planet. So it doesn't look like Microsoft is going to be buying Discord. What would be interesting, though, is if any of these companies, when, they, when Discord does IPO, just imagine they dump like $5 billion into them and take a board seat and do a hostile takeover. I don't know if that's really going to be happening. I don't know if that doesn't really feel like something Microsoft would do or another tech company might do because that would look pretty unfavorably uh, in the community. That being said, it's not unheard of in the industry. It has happened. There's a pretty uh, famous example between VW and Porsche. If you're not familiar with it, definitely recommend go looking it up because it went one way. One company tried to do a hostile takeover and ended up being inversed. And uh, it's a really good, great business case. 
So that being said, uh, those are sort of the big things that are happening here in the middle of the week. As we learn more, keep it subscribed here because the only BS on this channel is me.